This is the story of the days before television, before the automobile, when things were simpler, and a carefree wanderer like Zippy, our hero, found a happy, adventurous life on the road. A house along the way usually meant food. Food. Gee, it's been a long time. And am I hungry? Me too. So Zippy, ever hopeful, decides to open negotiations. First check the pup, and then try to wangle some of that eating stuff. I know there's somebody home. Open the door. He doesn't look too friendly. Talk fast, Zippy. What's that? The wood pile. No work, no eat. Well, okay. Ah, that aroma. And the coast is clear. The pie. Stop, thief. There goes Pa's dessert, and he's hopping mad. But Zippy is saved by the morning train. Pa's got to be at the station, no time to chase the scamp. Now for his feast, but well, there goes the main course. Hey, you rascal, who snitched that pie in the first place? Meanwhile, little sis and baby carry Pa's lunch down to the station. It's a happy family scene, quite a contrast to Zippy's lonely camp. Run along and play, says Pa, but stay away from the wagon. So where does Baby go to play? Where else? Uh-oh, here comes trouble. There goes the wagon. Who can save baby? Quick, before it's too late. Look at that Zippy ride. Come on, Zippy. Guess he learned that trick in the circus. Well, there's the train, getting closer. Only seconds to spare. He did it. What a rescue. Zippy, you should be in the movies. You're a hero. And from now on, young feller, no more panhandling, says Pa. You're one of the family. I've got a job for you with the railroad. Watch the office, Zippy. I've got to meet the afternoon train. It's the first of the month, and there's the payroll. A couple of slick-looking passengers arrive. See the way they eye that money? Better watch out, Pa. They're planning some monkey business, and for that, they call in a specialist in dirty work. There's danger and excitement in the air, drawn by the smell of all that money. Watch how these slickers operate. The vamp turns on the glamour, and... Paw is hooked. But what is Zippy up to? Does he see the crooks? What's he doing at the safe? And why put the money in Pa's coat? More and more mystery. Pa is still starry-eyed, and the crooks get ready for some good old-fashioned safe cracking. Here 
Here comes Pa. Too late. They work fast. He's taking Pa's coat with the money in the pocket. Now everyone's confused. Only no one knows it yet. Zippy thinks the money's safe until he sees Pa's jacket. They may be cornered, but they won't give up the money. And look at the fortress they picked. They can stand off an army from here. Zippy goes into action by calling his animal friends. This will be the strangest battle ever fought with a turtle and a pup in the front line. Okay, Pooch, you know what your job is. Double time. Zippy's an expert at jungle warfare. Now for his secret weapon. The candle adjusted just so. There's the signal. On your way, flat top. Battle rages. Little do they suspect a fifth column attack. Oops, missed. Once more. That's it. Now scoot to safety. Another man at her feet. He's off with the money box. What to do? Quick, the coat to break the fall. Here's Zippy, but what can he do? Zippy gets the jacket, and they got nothing. Zippy has done it again. Save the money and save the day. When thieves fall out, tempers heat up and there's only one thing to do. Cool off, boys. And so another exciting day ends for Zippy as he looks ahead to other friends, other days, and other adventures.